I was born in Dallas, I lived there for three years, then moved to South Korea, I lived there for three years, Chicago for five years, and then I moved to Israel, and I lived there for nine years. I would hate to lose my hands. Is that... People always say, like, oh, I could never, but, like, it's not like if you live in Israel and you're Israeli and it's not like you have a choice. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're suited or not suited. Like, I don't think anyone is ready to die for their country. Like, there was this whole thing that, like, you had to come out of the closet to be, like, a Hillary Clinton fan because everyone is such pretty supporters that, like, even <coughs> Clinton, who's, like, a liberal, isn't, like, liberal enough. Maybe just that wasn't the like there is this overwhelming majority that agree with each other, and so like I find that a minority that disagrees will feel uncomfortable. My name is Adam Darcy Osborne. Uh, I grew up in Paris, and now I live in Evanston, Illinois. I'm a sophomore at Wesleyan, and I'm an English major. I, I like to think of my father as the embodiment of the American dream because he grew up uh, quite poor on a farm and his parents divorced and he had to raise his two younger siblings along with his mother. Like He pulled himself up by the bootstraps, climbed the, uh, the ladder of success, exceeding in school, and, going to university and getting a job and meeting my mother and living in Europe and, and now he's, you know, moderately wealthy businessman who in, likes to enjoy the finer things of life. My father, one year uh, after a, what was supposed to be a pilgrimage to Israel and Palestine, uh, immediately declared himself an atheist because he didn't like the way that people treated religion and used it to justify certain things and... You're agnostic? I, yeah, I think so. What does that mean to you? Uh, it means that I'm not quite comfortable calling myself There's a rock upon which he uh, supposedly was, uh, I believe, encountered by the devil. And my mother touched the rock and said, oh, wow, you can certainly feel something. It's true that it was a very strange um, block of material, but there's a lot that goes on that's very cultural and very psychosomatic. I always feel as though I suffer the consequences in my inner turmoil uh, exponentially more than any punishment could make me feel. I don't want to be punished because I always feel so punished by everything all around me. Uh, yes, I, I, I want to, I want, I want the kind of very, very intensely romantic, very passionate, inconvenient, and violent, and horrifying, and heartbreaking, treacherous love that, uh, that people... I had a discussion once with a friend, and she said that she wanted... She, if, if she were to ever meet the kind of person that she would want to cut off the end of their finger for, uh, as, as the young William Burroughs did, she, she thought, that was too much. That was, that was not a good love. That was a overly passionate, um, one-sided love. But I believe that every human relationship involves some form of dominance. I would love nothing more than to be the, uh, the one who reaches, the one who is mistreated, the one who, who loves even though it is inconvenient and wrong. 
I think that everyone is fraudulent. I think everyone is fraud. Everyone is fake 100% of the time. Uh, and, uh, and honesty is a bit of a myth. I just thought that when people were dead, they would be gone. There were a lot there of were nights as a kid where I would literally cry because there would be like one there day would be like my mom, mom would day be dead, my mom and would I would be dead and, alive, and I would probably be alive. I just like that. Just I like just like really sad. That just like made I me really sad. I didn't think about the afterlife until the afterlife, like, afterlife until I like heard about I'm, heaven and heard about heaven. And I was just like, I guess, maybe, I guess, maybe, heaven, heaven, just like, just like, became, sort became of a game, canon, sort of a thing, canon, to me, thing, to me, but, but, I didn't think it I was, like, something, really think it was, like, something, really ever, so, ever, I mean, conceptions of each other, when people ask, who are you, what are you, where are you from, it's, very ingrained in you know ge geography, nationality, and interests and likes and dislikes. Um, I don't really get to think about who I am as a person a lot. Uh, things I take pleasure out of that I shouldn't. Drinking. I'm really afraid of death, so I try very hard not to think about it. I think people who have faith, especially now and here and at our age, it's just like, I admire that because there's so much against you. If you can't change in the afterlife, I don't like that idea. I think our sin is just being young, being young and in such a good place already. Being young and wanting too much. But we should want too much. That's the thing. It's exactly what we should be doing. Just say, uh, <laughs> nine? You know how to do that? You know that? <laughs> 